Many art shows happen in the Cedar Valley throughout the year, but none are quite as special as the exhibit in our next feature. Cedar Falls TV reporter Ian Goldsmith teaches us more about the art show at North Star Community Service. In the summer of 2013, I previewed a local production of Peter Pan. But it wasn't just any old local theatrical production. It was the biannual musical performed by the clients of North Star Community Services. Previewing and attending the musical was not only a lot of fun, it was rather touching as well, because it reminded me of the positive power of theater. When I found out that this year North Star would be hosting an art show, well, I knew that this was an event that I couldn't miss. For those of you who are not familiar, North Star Community Services is a day facility for adults with disabilities. We've been around since 1975 and we serve a, lots of people with lots of different types of disabilities from intellectual disabilities to developmental disabilities, even to age related disabilities and then we also serve a lot of people with brain injuries too. One of the many services of the Dayhab program at North Star is the Art Room, a place for clients to explore their creativity through artistic mediums. The consumers come in and they do different art projects in the art room. I'm in charge of all the art in the area and I work with the consumers on different art projects and help them get them completed and everything. We just started seeing that people were um, creating lots of really interesting, fun things that we thought they ought to show it off. The art exhibit displayed a variety of fun and creative works by the North Star clients ranging from paintings, to pottery, to weaves, and more. One of the fun ones that they liked, we had name tags where we took popsicle sticks and spelled their names out with them and they decorated them however they liked. Um, a, another popular one is our plastic canvas and they just use a needle and yarn and they draw pictures on a plastic canvas and um, make a really cool design. In addition to viewing the artwork, Gallery visitors could also support North Star through the silent auction and the live auction. Furthermore, attendees could participate in the collaborative art project Wordwall, groove to the tunes by Hands of Time Jazz Quartet, all while enjoying some of the best coffee and cupcakes in town. One thing that may have surprised art goers was the wide ranging creativity and skill by the clients. A lot of people that don't know about North Star and know about people with disabilities, they probably don't know some of the things they can do. But we have a lot of really talented consumers and it's crazy what they come up with. So it's, it's fun having this art show and having people from the community come in and they'll be able to see like what our consumers have done. But what struck me the most while filming the art show was not the quality of the artwork. It was not the eclectic mix of activities or even the impressively large crowd in attendance. What struck me the most was the overwhelming feeling of happiness in the room. Seeing the clients light up with excitement to share their creations with family, friends, and fellow North Star artists. It's an important thing for the clients and that's the reason why we do it. To show that everybody has creative art ability. Everybody enjoys the arts, no matter if you have a disability or not, everybody has, um, has a desire to want to be creative and do different things, and people want to show it off just like anybody else would. It is clear to me that the clients of North Star truly understand and appreciate the ability to create, no matter how silly or simple the final product. Expressing creativity without critique is a virtue that is easily lost throughout adulthood. Celebrating our inner creativity is a lesson for everyone, perhaps best demonstrated by the clients of North Star. For Cedar Falls Community Television, I'm Ian Goldsmith.